We know that sleep is important, but for many of us, it's very elusive. Maybe you have difficulty getting to sleep. Maybe you have a problem staying asleep. Maybe you have both. You can find lots of suggestions on the internet about what to do to sleep better. My guess is that you've tried most of these and still have a problem. Otherwise, why would you be watching this video? So my intention is to cover some of the less common strategies in order to get you a good night's sleep, including some that you may never have considered. But before that, I just want to cover briefly why sleep is so important for all of us. When we fall asleep, our brains are not merely offline. They're busy organising new memories. If you don't get enough sleep, this process doesn't happen properly. During sleep, the brain replays neural firing patterns experienced while awake. This is known as offline replay. It helps to make the memories permanent, but it's not just our memory that is affected by our lack of sleep. According to the US Centers for Disease Control, lack of sleep can also lead to high blood pressure High blood pressure can lead to an increased risk of having heart disease or a stroke. Researchers also suggested that a good night's sleep helps with blood sugar control and reduces your chance of getting diabetes. That's type 2 diabetes. Other research has shown that obesity is linked to lack of sleep. This is especially true for children and adolescents who need more sleep than adults. This seems counterintuitive. If you're awake rather than asleep, surely you're using more calories. But not getting enough sleep may affect a part of the brain that controls hunger. If you're not sleeping well, you feel hungrier and want to eat more. You can see how that would easily lead to a weight problem. Researchers from the University of British Columbia found that after a night of shorter sleep, people react more emotionally to stressful events the next day. And they don't find as much joy in the good things that happen to them. That's really sad, isn't it? I could go on, but what this shows, and what you already know, I'm sure, is that sleep is vitally important for your health and well-being. So how do you get a good night's sleep? One way is to use sleeping pills but they can have side effects, so should only be used as a last resort. So how can you get a better night's sleep naturally? Here are nine possible treatments for insomnia. That's nine strategies for helping you to get to sleep more easily and helping you stay asleep all night. Number one, do you have an underlying health condition? Sleep problems can be a sign of an underlying medical condition, such as thyroid problems or depression. So do get this checked out with a suitably qualified health professional. Number two, alcohol and sleep. If you find it difficult to get to sleep, you may find that alcohol is part of the solution. But think again, alcohol may help you get to sleep, but you're more likely to wake during the night, feeling thirsty and needing to go to the bathroom. It's also been shown to disturb the quality of your sleep. Alcohol can mean we spend more time in deep sleep and less time than usual in the important rapid eye movement or REM stage of sleep. REM sleep is important for our bodies. A shortage of REM sleep can mean we feel tired the next day even if we've slept for a long time. Also, the amount of alcohol you need to drink to get that initial calming effect to help you get to sleep will increase over time. Needing more alcohol is definitely a not a good thing for your health and well-being. So use alcohol as a sleep medication with great, great, great caution. It's definitely better to find other ways of helping yourself sleep. There are links to all the research I mentioned in the video description. Number three, exercise and sleep. The relationship between sleep and exercise is interesting. Let me see if I can explain what the research says. Regular aerobic exercise 
has been shown to help people fall asleep quicker, wake up less during the night and feel more rested the following morning. Sounds great, doesn't it? This was true for many different types of aerobic exercise, such as cycling, running, and even brisk walking. Regular resistance or strength training may also help people with insomnia to fall asleep quicker and increase their sleep efficiency. Sleep efficiency, that's what the researchers call it. That's the amount of time you spend asleep compared to the amount of time you spend in bed trying to get to sleep. You may have read that you shouldn't exercise in the evening because it will disturb your sleep. But research shows that for some people, it actually helps them get to sleep. Researchers don't know why, but they think it may be linked to core body temperature. You can, of course, try exercising at different times of the day and find what works best for you for sleeping. Number four, take a bath. Researchers from the Cockerell School of Engineering found that bathing one to two hours before bedtime in water of about 104 to 109 degrees Fahrenheit, that's 40 to 43 degrees centigrade, can significantly improve your sleep. Number five, herbal tea. Try a herbal tea before you sleep. Chamomile, passion flower, lavender flower or valerian are all, all good. Number six nicotine and sleep. If you smoke, you should seriously consider stopping. Nicotine is a stimulant and so can make it difficult to get to sleep and stay asleep. Yet another good reason to stop smoking. Are you finding this video helpful? Please like, comment, share and subscribe. It's so good to have your feedback on what I'm sharing with you. Number seven, use essential oils. Try essential oils. There's lots of anecdotal evidence that they are helpful for people who have sleep problems. There is also now some scientific evidence too. Lavender helps slow your heart rate and relaxes muscles. Sweet margarine is calming and helps to slow the mind. Chamomile and sandalwood help to reduce anxiety. Ylang ylang my favourite, has a soothing effect that alleviates stress. Peppermint oil aids sleep, probably through reducing stress. It's also actually been found to be helpful for weight loss. I don't actually like it. So choose the one that most relates to why you can't sleep. You can use these oils in various ways. For example, put a few drops of oil on a tissue and inhale the vapour. You might want to put that on under your pillow too or add a to a carrier oil and then rub it on your hands, or add to water and spray in your room or on your pillow. Number eight, making sleep a priority. It's easy to think of sleep as being something that happens when you run out of things to do, or you can no longer keep your eyes open. But do remember how important sleep is for your general health and well-being. It will make that to-do list easier to do when you've had a good night's sleep. Value sleep for what it gives you in many different aspects of your life. Number nine, what if you can't sleep? If you're lying there tossing and turning, it may be better to get up and go and do something boring until you feel sleepy. I once read the suggestion that you should do some mindless dusting if you can't sleep. Not sure that would work for me. It's boring, but it would make me so annoyed. There's lots of other ways to beat insomnia. Sleep hygiene is important, for example, but I wanted to look at ways that you may not have considered. I hope you found this helpful. If you have, please like, comment, share and subscribe. Here's to a good night's sleep tonight and every night.